Ooh, this is Bowbinder with his breaking update on the Treaty of the Lost, or the Lost Treaty, which is the Law of the Sea Treaty. And you would imagine what happened when that oil spill happened. We gave away everything. I did a uh, video report on this about a month ago. This is basically an update and explains a little more of how they got away with it and how bad it really is and how I don't know why the Republicans weren't in in shop when this vote came out on this and uh, you know, this is how it goes this is by Boo Guy website it says breaking the US House puts Ocean's Coast under UN the Senate vote will seal the deal September 21st 2010 piece by piece American America is being given away by Carmen Reynolds and Paul McCain and Karen Skouin and here it is, starting here. It's too late. I'll just have to be, or it'll, it'll just have to be stopped in the Senate. Tom, the young male answering the phone at the U.S. represent John Boner's uh, Republican of Ohio, Washington D.C. office, said about H.R. 3534 Clear Act. This is the globalist bill designed to give away our land, oceans and adjacent land masses, the Great Lakes, to an international body and makes us pay $900 million per year until 2040. Yes, we are going to give away our coastlines, east, west, uh, the Gulf, Mississippi, and the Great Lakes to the UN. And uh, not much we can do about it, I guess, now because they did this behind our back like usual. They're just, I don't know, there's criminals running our government. There's tons of criminals. I don't know how they ever got in there except they're all carpetbaggers and foreign enemies of our country. They're, they are, they're acting like foreign enemies that snuck in and took over. <clears throat> That's how it goes. H.R. 3534 is a thinly disguised permanent roadblock to American energy was to rise American companies out of the Gulf, delays future drillings, increases dependency on foreign oil, implements climate change legislation and youth education programs, but most important, it mandates membership in the Law of the Sea Treaty without the required two-thirds vote to ratify it in the U.S. Senate. Read more at Lost Below. The House passed the CLEAR Act, H.R. 3534. 209 votes to 193 July 30th 2010 this bill was originally introduced July 8th 2009 but was resurrected by the recent Deepwater Horizon oil spill crisis according to uh, www.governmenttrack.us a debate may be taking place on the companion bill in the Senate rather than on this particular bill. This bill was read for the second time August 4, 2010 and placed on the Senate legislative calendar under General Orders Calendar Number 510. Huh, amazingly, there's a Senate bill called 510. Anyways, coincidence. No official Senate bill number exists as of yet. And you can see it at this website. Some have said this bill would be a long shot to be approved in the Senate or it will take a while to surface. Similar assessments were made about the health care bill. Past precedent reflects on how 2,200 plus page bill can be created, printed, members held hostage, and at the same time the bill voted on within hours to facilitate holiday recess. This bill assesses a, con a conservation fee of $2 per barrel of oil and $0.20 cents per million BTUs of natural gas for all leases on federal sh offshore, onshore land, Section 802. This will jettison America's energy prices for oil and gas through the roof. Truth is, H.R. 3534 could have been stopped in the House and wasn't. Why? Because 21 absent Republicans chose not to show up for this critical vote, while another represent just voted present. U.S. Rep. Gary Miller, California, 42. This legislation was so egregious, more than a handful of Democrats voted nay, which makes the Republicans absent in the House chamber for the vote even more questionable. Be reminded that 193 plus 17 absent votes would have killed the bill. 
but there were 17 people decided to take the day off. The Consolidated Land Energy Aquatic Resurrection, Resurrection or Restoration Act of 2009, aka the CLEAR Act, H.R. 3534, gives away ownership of Americans' oceans to the United Nations and sections and sectors of America and to nine geographic areas. I remember that on the cereal boxes they were talking about how we have broken the country into nine areas. This bill possesses a cap and trade climate change component as well. America will be forced to become a member of the UN Law of the Sea Treaty, aka LOST, circumventing the normal two-thirds US Senate to vote necessary for ratification of any treaty. This was accomplished serendipitously vi section 106 of the bill which specifies that executive orders rule regulations directives and delegar and delegations of authority that precede the effective date of this act are applicable to the clear act just so happens that two important documents did precede the clear act documents that contain the the, the de literous intent and scope of the bill. Obama's stewardship of the oceans, our coast and our Great Lakes executive order, July 19, 2010, and the interim report of the Interagency inter Oceans Policy Task Force, July 10, 2009. Look at the timeline very closely. September 8, 2009, Clear Act is introduced in Congress. September 10, 2009, interim report. The interim report states that the Interagency Oceans Policy Task Force includes adherence to the Law of the Sea Treaty, page 14. Its purpose is to establish a comprehensive set of rules governing the oceans. The Law of the Sea Treaty calls for technology transfer and wealth transfer from developed to undeveloped nations and requires parties of the treaty to adopt regulations and laws to control pollution of the marine environment all under the authority of the United Nations. Such provisions were among the reason President Ronald Reagan rejected the treaty in 1982 as Edwin Meese, U.S. Attorney General under President Reagan explained recently. It was out of step with the concepts of economic liberty and free enterprise that Ronald Reagan was inspired throughout the world. This interim report will provide a recommended framework for coastal and marine spatial planning and address conservation, economic activity, user conflicts, and sustainable use, as well as social justice. Previously, there was no money for the National Marine Fisheries Service to implement the mandates to update its fishery data collection system, but now, with the international flavor of $900 million a year, we'll be dedicated to a global approach to our land, oceans, coastal areas, and the Great Lakes. Uh, and then you can go to this White House document here, which I'll, when you read this, I'll, you'll get the whole thing. Uh, on April 20th, 2010, BP oil spill, the federal government would not accept or provide help allowing oil to reach shores. Uh, or was allowing oil to reach the shores, allowing BP to dump hundreds of millions of barrels of uh, coexit toxic into the Gulf, poisoning the Gulf for future generations. You can see it at this website, www.thegulfspeaks.com. May 20th, 2010, the U.S. forces mor moratorium on drilling. Judge says not constitutional, but the feds issue a new version of the moratorium. Thousands are put out of work, and hundreds of millions are lost in revenues. Wonder why the feds did nothing for a hundred days? Instead, we get this executive order. On July 19th, 2010, executive order. Moving the executive order, Obama hereby orders as following in Section 2, B, 3, uh, pursuing the United States ascension into the Law of the Sea Convention, note the intent to make an end run around the constitutionality required a separate two-thirds U.S. Senate vote necessary to ratify a treaty by burying this in associated documents, not in the bill itself. Read two more. Clear Act. Consolidate Land, Energy, and Aquatic Resources, H.R. 3534. This creates a regional outer continental shelf council which will coordinate sitting in development 
of energy resources and prepares OCS strategies. What will these strategies entail? Further moratoriums, a uh, high cost for permitting. Most likely, high cost of permitting? Yes, probably. It amends the Land and Water Conservation Fund to make $900 million available to the fund for each fiscal year until 2040 without further appropriations. It allows grants to coastal states and Indian tribes and Secretary of the Interior to update regional assessments, regional ocean partnerships, and regional coordinating councils in suing the government. Non-government organizations and academic entities are considered Section 605A, 3A, B, and C. Pay attention. Pay attention to Section 106E references relating to the service of statutes, executive orders, ruling rules, regulations, directives, and or delegations of authority that precede the effective date of this act are deemed to refer as appropriate to the department, to its officers, employees, and agents, or to its corresponding organizational units or functions. Congress will no longer be needed to vote on these pesky little treaties. The UN will take care of everything. Isn't that so nice of the UN? The CLEAR Act appears or repeals the Energy Policy Act of 2005 by removing royalty incentives for natural gas production from deep wells and shallow gulf waters, removes royalty relief for deep water production, and directs the Secretary of the Interior to establish fees for leases with less than commercial quantity. So here is the cap and trade, climate part of the job killing, component of the legislation. Don't forget the conservation fees of $2 per barrel of oil and 20 cents on the BTUs of natural gas in Section 802 will be that much more we consume must, our consumers must pay. It prohibits the following authorities from developing a fishy fishery management plan, which is the way we have been doing business, National Oceans and Oceanic Administration Secretary of Commons and Regional Fisheries Management Council. In other words, current management of our oceans within the United States will be suspended by the National Oceans Council, comprised of some of the most radical environmentalists in the administration, co-chaired by Nancy Sutley, White House Council and Environmental Quality Quality and Dr. John P. Holden, eugenicist, White House Office of Science and Technology Policy. Man, I'm going to have to just leave this, I guess, and, and you'll have to read the rest of it because it goes on and on and on. This is so draconian, so anti American, smacks of destruction of freedoms. Oh, man, you just do not realize how bad this really is. Read the bill, Senators. The House just gave away our sovereignty and we are paying $900 million per year until 2040 to create three new bureaucracies. Bureau of Energy and Resource Management, Bureau of Safety and Environmental Enforcement, and the Office of Natural Resources Revenue, plus all the inspectors and accountants that accompany them. No telling how much of this will be funneled through the international entities and councils even before the additional global taxes are eventually assessed on top of this. See organizational diagram b b below. Not posted yet. No more secrets. Secrets. 2010. Never be lied to again. I need to pass that bill. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to ascertain that the way to stop any sovereignty killing legislation in the House and not in the Senate. This is due to sheer numbers and because of the past assets by polar centers such as Snow and Collins and Luger and Graham and McCain and Bonavich and Brownback and Castle and Scott Brown have provided. Bill Senator Bill Nielsen, Democrat Florida, is a strong proponent of the Laws of the Sea Treaty. Other Republican senators that support this legislation include uh, Republican Tennessee, um, Merck, Kowalski, uh, Republican of Arkansas, previously support were the former senators of Allen and Hago and Chaff and Chaffee, and there are and there is no way to determine whether their replacements have been influenced, paid to play for upcoming votes. Remember, America has already missed a House of opportunity because of Republicans not doing their job. Well, I'm going to have to leave it there. These are Republicans in the House that let, let us down and destroyed us. Remember these on uh, November. These are the ones that weren't there when they should have been. Well, until next time, this is Spellbinder with this report. Thank you. Good day.